Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 256. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPs, etc. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following formed as 22nd state of Indian Union? Correct answer is Sikkim. Sikkim emerged as India's 22nd state on 26th April 1975. The Sikkim State Day is observed on 16th May of every year because this was the day when the first Chief Minister of Sikkim assumed office. What was the number of states in India after the States Reorganization Act 1956 which reorganized the boundaries of different states on linguistic basis? Correct answer is 40. The States Reorganization Act 1956 was a major reform of the boundaries of India states and territories, organizing them along linguistic lines. Although additional changes to India state boundaries have been made since 1956, the States Reorganization Act of 1956 remains the single most extensive change in state boundaries since the independence of India in 1947. In which schedule of Indian constitution the territorial extent of Indian state and union territories is prescribed? Correct answer is the first schedule. The first schedule lists the states and territories of India, lists any changes to their borders and the laws used to make that change. The single citizenship has been introduced in Indian constitution on the pattern of which of the following constitutions? Correct answer is both one and two that is both Britain and Canada. So, uh, the Constitution of India has established a single and uniform citizenship for the whole of the country. A citizen in a federal state owes firstly allegiance to the unit and secondly to the union. So, there are two sets of government in a federal polity. However, India being a union of states, uh, the, we are only citizens of the Republic of India. We do not uh, owe any allegiance to the particular state, but only to the Constitution of India as a whole. The Citizenship Act was passed by the Indian Parliament in which year? Correct answer is 1955. An act to provide the acquisition and determination of an Indian citizenship along with the Constitution of India. The Citizenship Act of 1955 is the exhaustive law relating to citizenship in India. The co conferment of a person as a citizen of India is governed by the Articles 5 to 11 of Part 2 of the Constitution of India. To enforce the fundamental rights, which among the following body has authority to issue writs? Correct answer is both High Court and Supreme Court of India. So option C is the correct answer, both 1 and 2. In India, both Supreme Court and High Court have been empowered with writ jurisdiction. Further, Parliament by law can extend power to issue writs to any other courts, including local courts, for local limits of jurisdiction of such courts. Who among the following can suspend the fundamental rights? Correct answer is the president. Um, so this is usually uh, known as the national emergency or any sort of emergency where the fundamental rights of citizens can be suspended. During national emergency, all the basic freedoms guaranteed by Article 90 automatically get suspended. During emergency, president can suspend all other fundamental rights also except Article 20 which states protection in respect for a conviction of offences and Article 21, which is protection of life and personal liberty. Such suspension needs parliamentary approval. Which among the following is the most appropriate definition of political liberty of citizens of India? Correct answer is right to participate in government and assume equal opportunity to assume highest office. So the rights to life and personal liberty apply for persons of any nationality while others such as the freedom of speech expression are applicable only to citizens of india including non-resident indian citizens political liberty however uh, ensures our participation in government and our right to assume the highest offices in the government in which year akbar built the bulam darwaza correct answer is 1601 so, Bulan Darwaza is located in Fatehpur Sikri and was built by Akbar in 1601 AD to commemorate his conquest of Gujarat. Deogiri was first of all subjugated by which Muslim invader? Correct answer is Alauddin Khilji. The first attack on the south of the Narmada was made in 1294 AD by Alauddin Khilji who marched 700 miles into Berar and Khandesh and compelled Raja Ram Chandra Deva and the Yadavas. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.